guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this watermelon cupcakes. We're going to be starting with some cake butter. And to that, I'm going to be adding some gel food coloring in red, tulip red this one is. And I'm just going to mix it. Now, if you don't have a cake butter that you like, I do have the recipe on my channel if you want to check it out. It's called just cupcake recipe. But then I'm just going to be adding a few drops of that red onto my butter. I want it to be intense, so I'm just going to add a few drops in there. Then to that, I'm going to be adding some chocolate chips, which are acting as the seeds on this one. And I'm just going to mix the whole thing until they are incorporated. I'm going to be taking my cupcake wrappers. I am using this Wilton cupcake wrappers that I bought. I have two packages of these ones. These ones are like colorful and the other ones have like um, designs on them. If you want me to make a review of these ones, just let me know down below. And I'm going to be just uh, placing my cupcake wrappers on my cupcake tray. To fill them in, I'm just going to be using an ice cream scoop to just have the same amount of butter in each and every one of my cupcakes and that goes to the oven. To decorate these cupcakes, I'm going to be using some whipped cream and some green gel food coloring. Stick with gel food coloring because if you use one of those liquid food colorings, it might change the consistency of your buttercream, frosting, whipping cream, whatever you're using. Then I'm going to be taking my tipless piping bags. And I just love them. I did a room in this ones. Uh, it's on my channel. I use them like all the time for everything. Even though these are called the tipless piping bags, I am going to be using a tip number 2A. I think this is from Wilson. But you know, one that is round and it's going to give you like a round swirl. Then I'm going to just be filling my piping bag with my uh, whipped cream. Then I'm going to be just securing my bag with a knot and then I'm going to cut like the tip of it then it's time to uh, frost the cupcake with the swirl and now to frost the cupcake you're just going to go first around the cupcake with your piping bag and then towards the center it's practice matter to get the perfect swirl but once you get the hang of it it's really easy to make and as you can see mine are not like super perfect or anything it gets easier with time and practice but that's kind of like the whole idea of it again the more you practice and the better your swirls are going to be but what happens if you, all you have is like a kitchen knife and you don't have a piping bag or a piping tip and you just don't want to buy them you can use a kitchen knife as well you just spread your in my case whipped cream just as if you were adding i guess a butter to a slice of bread just to make it a toast and i think it looks cute you just have to arrange it as you want it to be and yeah this is another way of decorating cupcakes which i really think is cute I'm going to be adding some white sprinkles on the top of this ones so just to make them a bit prettier because they are pretty simple by themselves they are really simple to make but effective and they are delicious remember you can really customize this to taste actually like watermelon just add watermelon extract to your cupcakes and to your frosting or whipping cream and you're good to go this is what they look like from the inside and this is where you're going to be able to see the chocolate chips in action the more you add and the more um you're going to be able to see so yeah, i just wanted to make two options one using like your kitchen knife and the other option just like going a bit more fancy either way it looks pretty cute and they are yummy i really hope you like this ones if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it thank you so much for your time watching happy baking guys bye